Hello, do you know how to solve the sums that involves the use of the brackets? If you don't know how to solve, this one is the best channel for you. Or if you know how to solve, please let us share your answers on the comment section. Now we have the, the maths problem that I want us to look at. We have 7 plus, then this maths problem as you can see, it involves several brackets. Not only one bracket, but it involves the two bracket. The first larger bracket, that is 7 plus into bracket, 5 plus into bracket, 9 minus 6. Then again, we close the bracket squared. Then all of these again, minus 9. So what comes the correct answer? I want us to solve this problem within the shortest time possible. I'm your host, Teacher John, a high school teacher. Now, you can, if you are a new subscriber, you can always subscribe to this channel if you are uh, visiting this channel for the first time. So if you are a returning subscriber, the only thing that I need from you is to like the video so that you can reach to a number of people that can get the knowledge of maths on a daily basis. So let's begin. So the first step that you need to do, we want to work out the solution and the step-by-step -step process. So let's have our solution, solution there. So after that, now we have to think of this problem and see which one are we going to solve first. Now, as usual, whenever you are faced with this uh, problem that has got more than one bracket, one thing that you have to do, you have to work out the bracket which, whichever. Now, so this one is 5 plus. There is no any other sum that you can work it out. So we are su supposed to work out the bracket, the minor bracket, not the major bracket. So here now we shall say, now this one we have 7, so plus, then into bracket we shall just put, open the bracket and write 5, then we add 2, so we want to work out this bracket, meaning that you want to break it out. So now we shall have 9 minus 6, and 9 minus 6 is 3, so we shall open the bracket again, then we shall have our 3, then we close the bracket, then we shall have the square minus, minus 9. So at least as you can see, we've just have to, we've broken it down. Now from here, what we need to do is now we want to, we want to work out this bracket now. So this, this brings us to the second step, where now we shall have 7 plus, then as usual, we open the bracket, 5 plus, then from there, we have to work out the 3, the 3 squared, and 3 squared is 3 times 3. So we just put in 3 multiplied by, by 3, then again minus, minus 9. So remember 3 multiplied by 3, this one was all into, into bracket. So we simply move to the next step where now we shall say 7 plus, then again you open the bracket, 5 plus, so 3 multiplied by 3, is 9. Remember, we are now closing with this bracket now, minus, minus 9. So, that is how we work out this problem. Now, so, most people will be asking, after reaching at this step now, what do we do next? Now, we must make sure that we complete all the bracket. Some people make a mistake of working out 7 plus, then minus 9. So, when you do that, with the, when you jump this step, we shall end up with the wrong answer. So, we are moving to the next step now, where I shall now pick 7. So, 7 plus, then now we shall have uh, 5 plus 9. And 5 plus 9 is now 14. So, we shall have our 14 there, then minus, minus 9. Okay? So, after where we have reached, you can check that our maths problem has been arranged in a very good manner, in a systematic manner. And up to this point, what you've realized, there's something that we've used up to this process. And this one, always use it whenever you encountered a, a problem where we have more than one bracket. Always select the bottomers, because B will always stands for the bracket. Meaning that, in whatever you're doing, always work out the number that is inside the bracket first before you work out. And that is exactly what we have done. Now, then from there, now we move to the division. In our problem here, there was no division. Then now we shall move to the multiplication. So we have now worked out the multiplication part. That's why we have remained with, we have remained with 9. Then the next step is addition. So 
it is it is harmful for you to work out 14 minus 9 first before working out 7 plus 4. That is, there was where I was driving. So always stand, st starts with the addition, then from there you move to the subtraction. It is wrong for you to work out the subtraction, then finally move to addition. You will end up with the wrong or with the incorrect answer. So here now we shall have 7 plus 14. So when you have 7 plus 14, we shall have there our 21. So 21 minus 9. So there we shall now, where we shall have reached. So we shall have 21 minus 9. So uh, this step now, what is the, the correct answer when you have now 21 minus 9? So from there, we shall move and we put an is equal sign. So after working out, after reaching that step, we shall say that 21 minus 9 is now, is now 12. So our correct answer shall now be, be 12. So our correct answer is 12. So, when you work out with the correct step, we end up with, with the 12 as the, as the correct answer. But now when you choose another method whereby you just put 7 minus 9, then you work out the bracket, now we shall end up with the, with the wrong answer. So always take into an action whenever you are doing an operation that consists of more, more, than, more than one bracket. Now, so after you've reached at this step so these are now qualifies as the as the correct answer so let us stop there if you really love this video please what i'm requesting for you is just to to subscribe to this channel if you are a, a, a returning subscriber just like this channel so that it shall reach to a large number of people so i was your host mr john or you can tell, tell me teacher john until next time bye bye see you in our next video.